Hello everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures, and this is my next day's video. Um, what am I trying to say here? I got a, a lot in today, and I'm hoping that it's, you know, it'll last like 15, oops, excuse me, 15 minutes. So, I haven't opened that yet, can't remember what I bought. Um, but anyway, this is Jeanette with Jan the Panda Treasures. Okay. Some loose items right here. Some, I, some of these I really like because these remind me of those Kazuri beads, pottery beads, ceramic beads. Some like have some, you know, a little chippage. And then this one, which I think is beautiful. I don't know, there's something about blue and white pottery and macrame and just in general. It's just lovely. Okay, so I've got those and those. So this is what I've opened up so far. I don't know what this stone is. It feels cold. Um... It might be just a strand for crafting, but a lot of times you can just put those on and use them as accessory pieces. Very nice. So let's go over what we've got here. This is just a plain chain, and um, I think it might go with something maybe that's in this package, so we shall see. Okay, put that aside, just in case. Here is one earring that popped out. This is that crystal bead, it's a pierced. So we'll see if the mate shows up. This actually feels like milk glass. Milk glass and frosted glass, and there is a mark on it. This one says, Teresa, Good all. That's probably a name I need to research. What do you think? This feels, oh, it might be some of them. No, those, those might be glass, those might be plastic. I'm not sure. I'll double check, but they kind of have a weight to them like they're, pla they're glass. But these are definitely glass. Okay, so we got those. Got this beautiful blue and white macrame tasseled. Look at those beads. Nice. Look at the macrame work on that. Love the stations there. And then this interesting, you know, cloth chain thing happening. Okay. Then this cute little birdie, heshi, heshi. This looks like it's artisan made or studio made, probably artisan. But look at this, you've got like five here, four here, three here, three here, three here, two here, one here. So it looks like the five right here, the fab five are down here at the bottom and then it goes up four, three, three, two. And you can see that some of these have some sort of I don't know. I just think they're cool. Those are cool. So somebody got put some good beads to good use, and that is fabulous. I'll see what that looks like on a, bu a bust come Sunday. All right, so we got that grouping. Whoops. Oh, here's the other earring. Oh, isn't that precious? Love those. Okay, so this looks like, ooh, these things drive me crazy when they're not bagged on their own because they, they get into like the links and um, they're just, you know, these memory, or these illusion necklaces, you've got to put them in a separate bag. See, I can't get that out. It's it's okay. There we go. Uh, yep, popped right out. Good, 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 good. You just have to, you know, know what they do so that you can untangle them. 
So you know this guy doesn't belong in that link, but that link must have some sort of a gap. So there we go. Woohoo! We're, we're making progress. We're making progress. Otherwise, there's no way this necklace could get entangled with this chain. And it looks like this is stuck together in more ways than one. But I do think this is worth looking at. Um, and I do believe it's worth trying to save and not destroy. Okay, there we go. You just have to be patient. You just need to be patient. Okay, let's look at this guy since it's... Okay, so this... I don't know. What do you guys think? It's... Let's move this out of the way. It may... I wonder if it goes with these guys. No. These have a different kind of... These look have, like they have Aurora Borealis on them. And this one looks like it's maybe a different type of Aurora Borealis. So let's check it out. This is really cool. Okay, it's a triple strand. No, nope. Yes, triple strand necklace. And this one does not play well with others. But it's lovely. So this is going in its own little bag. Yes. And it looks like how they keep them together. I don't know. It looks like it's glued. I don't see any knots. So who knows? Who knows how these are made? Who knows who makes them? This one has a spring ring and there is a mark on there. I'm not going to dwell too much. I, you know. I want to get this video uploaded and in your eyeballs as soon as possible. Yeah, there's a mark. It's 925. Too small for me to um, test. I'm not going to test something like that. But it is 925 findings reportedly on stamped on there. So it's going in its own bag because it does not like other pieces of jewelry. It is what it is. Because the last thing I like to do is have to tear things apart and destroy. So let's keep that from happening. All right. Next, we have... Okay, this has a... 1946 that's your brand name oh this is lovely but it does show some sort of wear on the uh, flat coin beads there's the mark 1946 and yeah it's really pretty i like this i like it these feel like they're they're very thin metal if they're metal, so nice, very pretty. I like all of it. I like it all. All right, got that. This I thought was oh, it's it's a bracelet with a safety chain, and these feel heavy. Uh, they are not silk knotted but they feel like they're glass. And then they have this, this bar that goes in between what's going on here. Why is that like that? I don't know. Anyway, so it has these bars just to keep them, you know, from separating. There is a mark here. Let's Let's find out what the mark says. Oh my goodness. It's there and it says, drum roll, M-E-T-A-L-L, M-E-T, -L -L -E could be met all or, me tall or 
Um, but what I'm curious about is, yeah, were they wrapped or hooked up the um, safety chain? So I'll look this one up. These, these glass pearls or faux pearls, um, they seem to be in really good condition. And um, yeah, I don't see any peeling. It does look like there's a, a silk thread going through there, but I do not see, let me double check, because you know, some, some of these crafts people are so good at silk knotting that, um, There's a knot in between. Let me check some more. Okay. I want to look at that further because if these are, I'll just double check the uh, brand name. Maybe do a shot. I just want to make, see if these are real pearl, but it looks like there's a knot, a very tiny knot. And these might be real. I see some sort of a inclusion that looks like it's natural on this bead. Let me see if I can get it closer. These could be fresh water, but in really they're they're very round. I don't know if you can see that one right there. I'm trying to learn more about, you know, identifying pearls cuz these really feel good. Um, and you're, I'm looking for color consistency. Um, I don't know, that one looks scratched, but I mean, there is a silk knot, even though it's, you know, not visible to the eye. If you look under the, um, loop, with the loop, it does look like these might be real. So more investigation um you know it what strikes me is this you know what uh, the safety clasp first of all and the fact that they have a separator here to keep them from you know getting damaged and of course the brand name and so that's maybe i'll have some answers for you come sunday or maybe tomorrow, should I do another video? But this is um, this is really cool. And then on the safety chain, I'm kind of just spending too much time on this, but I'm learning. The safety chains in is like that. There's the little loop there, and there's the there's the the clasp. So this is supposed to. It looks to me like this is supposed to be this way right like that so yeah this is this is definitely a well put together piece of jewelry all right what else have we got in this oh here's another chain this one has two um a lobster claws so there's that it's it's long it's a long one so that's interesting. All right, where's the other one of these? It's a prong set. Oh, it's, it is a pin. This is a pin. So there, it's not an, in, it's not an earring. It's a pin, like a tie tack. Here is one of those sweet, sweet earrings. So that one might show up. We shall see. Oh, what is this? Let's see. Okay, there's the back. This is a tie tack. And it's it's got a little wonky on the back. Put that tie tack down. So here's the back. Everything looks really good on the back of this. I do not see a maker's mark. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, all the rhinestones are here. They're very clear. These are non, these are not prong set. And then they have this, you know, situation going on here with the enamel pieces. This is lovely. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it looks pretty good on camera. So we will check that out. All right, I have two more little bundles in here. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh, I thought this was pretty. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is a stretch bracelet, but look at those. This one's a little dirty there. These, I don't think they're glass. And I, I'm, I'm hesitant about the stretch. The stretch doesn't feel strong to me. It doesn't give, and it doesn't feel really tight. So I'm, I'm hesitant about this piece. But what I like about it is look at all those mother of pearl. It feels dirty on the top. So these look like little baby golf balls. Those are cool. And some actual shell pieces. So this is cool. All right. Let's see what's in the bottom of the bag here. I think in some of these lots, I do get at least one piece of sterling. This is a sterling screw back right there. It is marked 925. Yeah, this one's been worn and worn a lot. So and these look like they might have like little turquoise chips in them. It's very lovely. Kind of like that cloisonne thing where uh, appearance where you do the design and then put the the chips inside of it. So that's lovely. So we need to find the other earring for that. And this is some sort of scarf ring. Okay. Last little bundle. Here's the other ring earring for this. Maybe this one has a better mark. 925FL. But it does have a lot of scratching on the back. And these are screw backs. The thing with screw backs is it's really hard to wreck them. You know, when you have like parts that go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There's a tendency to, you know, wear out that way. So these are, these are nice. Oh, this was pretty. This is some sort of composite. It is a stretch and it is a loose stretch. Let's put it on. Let's see how bad it is. All right, not too terrible, but you know, that's pretty strong. I think it's okay. That's where it, it's not tied there. There's something, maybe that was where the price tag was. I don't know. So it's not, it's not a bad stretch. But I can't guarantee it, you know? Hmm. That's cool. Just a charm. I feel like I'm missing something. Take a tie bar. It's like a collar stay. And there is a mark on it. Something less. I don't know. It's a weird mark. Let's see if it says something on the other side. Ink less? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Reminds me of a collar stay. I do feel like I am missing something out of this lot. 
supposed to be a Murano, Murano glass piece. Supp yeah, I do this. Murano glass. I don't, it's not Murano glass. It's Murano-like. What the heck is that? I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? It is a tie tack or a tight thing because it looks like a safety pin. And it says, oh, there's lots of words. It's a swank. So it's, hmm, probably a 10 karat gold plate. It's probably of our base metal. Here's the other little heart. This feels like it's metal. I have an R. How are you? This looks older. There's a lot going on with the back of that, or that pin there. Oh, that's a pretty tack. Pretty, and this is a, this one is made to not fall off. And screw it. Do I see any marks there? No marks. Just super little, red, white, and blue. I don't know if it's like part of a uniform, but this is this to me would you know stay on a lot better. Here is a dichroic glass. It's tiny. <laughs> Uh, this looks like one earring, maybe some semi-precious stones in there. Here is another one of these chains. This looks like a fob of some sort. I have a pile of those now. These are cool. I like these. These look like little blimps. Those are interesting. I wonder if they're sterling. Uh-oh, bing bong. Who wants me? Anyway, this is Jeanette with Jen Treasures. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.